Listen, I'm just telling already in my head to myself, I'm just remembering those, that little Allen who had no savage, you know, I was going nowhere. And to hold this belt, it means the world. I'm not a big on the belts. I want uh, fights who give people this kind of electricity and stuff. But boy, it's nice to have one. <laughs> I'm never going to leave it. I'm going to wear it for 20 days straight. I'm not going to shower for 30 days. My girl is going to feel it. I don't think she'll like you not showering right enough, but let's talk about what's happened tonight because you're trending number one on Twitter in the UK. How does that sound? Everyone's Stop right that, now. So. Savage Army, thank you from the bottom of my humble heart. I would never be here without you. Never. In a million years. You always call up on my name. You always put me in mentioning and stuff and thank you so much for it. I was ready to give my life for you, not for this belt, for you, for my savage army, for each and every one of you, for each and every one of you, every Joes. I was ready to give my life tonight. I would never die. I would never leave it. Let's What's good family? Shout out to your man the YB Sugar Moms out here. And Lizzie Corinne. For boosting up your man the YB coin. Yeah, number one sugar mums in the game right now. 100% confirmed. So we just heard there from your mans. Alan. The Savage. Babic. Airing out and schooling Anthony Johnston. Yeah? Anthony Johnston. The conceited. Listen. Taking for granted having ass. Yeah? Take the fans for granted. Telling us after the fight, I hope the fans enjoyed that. That's what he said. After Johnston got filled in by Usyk in front of 90,000 of his own fans, he said, oh, I hope the fans enjoyed that, and oh, the fans need to understand that I've been training hard, and what? Oh, I hope the fans, I hope the people are grateful, what? Oh, I, 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 I hope the people are grateful that I left it all out there, what? Are you having a laugh? Like I said, if I was in Johnston's camp, he'd have been out there apologising for that crap. Same as Bomello. Yeah, Bomello and Johnston should have been apologising. Sorry sorry for dragging my 90,000 fans out for that crock of crap performance. That's what they should have been saying. About, uh, hope the fans are happy with that. H hope the fans are happy with you turning up for a sparring session. People need to be grateful because I work hard in the gym. You do. You get paid 30, 50 million bucks. Yeah, to do what you love to do, allegedly. Now, I don't, listen. I believe AJ loves to train. He don't love to fight though, we've seen that. We've seen Babic, he love it. Yeah? Almost too much. I actually think Babic needs to turn it down a bit. He go too, he go too hard in the paint. But you best believe, every great fighter needs some Babic in them. Yeah? All the greats had Babic in them. Johnston don't have no Babic nowhere. Yeah? Babic goes down for the first time in his career. He's straight back in there. He was out on his feet after being hit after the bell. He's straight back to it. No clinching. Yeah? And Babic, he's quite small. He doesn't have the... The gifts that Johnston has as such, athletically speaking. Meanwhile, Johnston's in there with Mr. Blobby. Mr. Blobby? Dude, 100 pounds full of... Soft tissue. And Johnston got knocked all around the ring. And was backing up, running all, running through his life, looking like a deer in headlights. Meanwhile, Babic in there, just worrying forward. Yeah? Taking shots clean, marching forward some more. Couldn't wait to give some more shots out. Oops. And putting all that to one side. You've heard, you listen, you heard what Babic said there. Yeah? And these words really resonated with me. Because these days, I mean, these days all we hear is, Oh man, you know. I got the bag, and huh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that my name's Dillian White, and I'm completely useless. I got the bag. That's what we hear now. All we heard before, before Dillian White versus Tyson Fury. All we heard was, "Oh, my name's Dillian White, and I want fifty percent because I'm really hard." Oh, my name's Dillian White, and I'm interim champion, and I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. He gets in there, and he was useless. That's just what it was, people. No one really called a spade a spade. Dillian White was categorically one of the most useless and overpaid individuals. And then guess what happened? After the fight, what happened there? He ran off. Yeah? Dillian White didn't turn up to the press conferences for his fans. When he did turn up, he was tickling nipples. Who want to watch that? Let's be real now. Which one of you shilly and shite man fans wanted to watch him tickling Tyson Fury's nipples? Which one? Oops. Yeah? 
And like I said, I, at the time, I even told you, man, Dilly and White, Shilly and Bumilly and Shy, I might as well have stayed away. I did, honestly, if, if I'd have known Bumilly was going to turn up and play Tickle Nipples, I'd have told him, you might as well stay away. Yeah? So, like I said, oh, I deserve this, I deserve that, I deserve this, I'm interim champion, my name is Bumilly and White, I deserve this, I deserve that. And I thought, you know what? Who knows? There's been times I thought Dilly and White would beat Tyson Fury. I can't, go lie. I can't lie, I got sucked in. My bad. <laughs> yeah? But the point is, to some extent, I thought, you know what? Let's see what Bumillion delivers. Maybe Dillian's going to prove he was worth 40%. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a fair guy. Yeah? When Deontay Wilder went in there in the first Fury fight and laid it on the line, I'm a fair guy. I never ripped him for it, really. Yeah? I give him, or certainly now at least, whatever way you want to look at it, certainly now I give him a lot of respect, because he went in there and laid it all out there. He didn't just follow Tyson Fury around the ring with his ass flapping like Bumillion Shite did. Yeah, Bumillion Shite went in there, and rather than really get stuck in and commit, like Oscar Valdez did, the, not Oscar Valdez, he's about another one, Oscar Bumdez, no, not him, um, Castaño, like Castaño did against Charlo the other weekend, Rather than do that, or like Deontay Wilder did against Tyson Fury in the third fight, rather than put on the line and go all guns blazing, Dillian followed Tyson Fury around the ring and then threw some stupid shots that were never on target that he tried to s scam the fans with. Did Barmillion Shite tried to scam the fans with this, oh, I'm going to throw a shot that... And casual fans, or even casual fans, my mum, my mum even said, what was that? Has he been training? So even casual fans knew that that wasn't even the shots he was throwing weren't serious. Cause you know when you're on, you know when you've got your opponent on target. You know when you're throwing a shot for throwing a shot's sake. And Dilly, essentially, the reason you saw Dillian throwing them stupid shots yeah, was because he knew he was doing nothing, and he thought, "Damn, I think the, some of the fans started to boo as well." I think Dillian thought, "Oh, I better, I better throw something, even though it's nowhere near on target. I better throw something so at least it looks like I'm trying to do something." When in reality, Dillian White could have walked his feet in and got, tried to get stuck in and tried to find a way, like Deontay Wilder did, on target. But these days, that would require taking risk. Do you understand that? As the smaller man, you have to take risk to get into range. Dillian didn't want to do that. Dillian wanted to sit on the outside, trying to box with the... I couldn't believe it. Dillian, what, after the fight, even said, Oh, oh, I turned to Southport and confused him, and I was, I was boxing with him Southport. You, you weren't doing shit. That's what you weren't doing. In fact, you confused him. You big, useless, overpaid melon. Hype job melon. Yeah? Sick of all these big, stiff, useless bums. Anthony Johnson, Bumilly and Shite, two of the most overpaid and useless individuals in the history of the sport. That's what it is. That's just the facts. Yeah? And Babic shows you how, you how it's supposed to be done. If all else fails, you, and the thing is, I tell people, stick your hands up and go walking in. Scrap so that. Babic showed you. Don't even stick your hands up. Just walk in. How about that? Yeah? And Babic ain't even making the kind of money they're making. And I think that's what you should do. I think when you get to a certain level, yeah, and you've got X amount of, And to be honest with you, I'm not even necessarily saying Babic's at that level yet. Babic went over and above. What really I'd have expected of him. I'm not... But Babic's probably made a couple hundred grand. I wouldn't necessarily even expect him to kill himself for that. But these top guys, Johnston, 30 million. Bumillion shite. 10 million. For 10 million bucks, I expect you, if it comes to it, to drop your hands and go walking in. That's what you should do. Yeah? If you ain't got no cardio left, keep your hands low and just march forward anyway. That's what you should be doing. 100%. And if you don't like it, go and take up croquet. Yeah? Because I got two people telling me, why be, oh, why be this, why be that? Listen, I didn't ask them, oh, why be, it's so dangerous. If it's so dangerous and you ain't got no balls, why are you doing it for then? Yeah? If you don't want to get stuck in, go and take up another sport. Yeah? Simple as that. But whilst you're signing up to this sport and you talk all the hard, don't forget people as well. Let's not make out that Dillian White hasn't talked like he's really hard. Oh, I'm really hard. I'm from Brixton. I'm really hard. Rock hard I am. My name's Dillian. Yeah? Oh, I'm a kickboxer. And let's not forget as well, for years, Dillian White would say things like, Oh, AJ, I'll take you outside and I'll do this, I'll box you up. Well, alright then. Well, fair enough. What happened? Where was all that? Where was all that taking you outside and boxing you up when you were near Tyson Fury? He did nothing all night and got chin with one shot. Yeah? Useless. No chin and no skills and just completely useless. 
and you talk, t try and tell me about how you want 30%, you want 50%, because you're really... How embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for the whole lot of it. The whole lot's a, the whole lot's a joke, yeah? And it takes someone like Babic to show what's expected of you. That's what's expected of you. And this, and again, this one even for the top level. Babic weren't even fighting for a world championship. Babic weren't even fighting for 10 million. He fighting for a couple hundred grand probably. At best, I'd have thought, maybe made, I don't know, 200 grand, I don't know. Either way, he's fighting for 200 grand and some intermediate belt, belt. And he put all on the line. Fair play to the guy. Yeah? And not only that, after the fight, he said, you know what, scrap the belt. I did it for the, the Savage Army. Yeah? I did it for the average Joes. Now... I don't, I don't care. People might some some fickle people may say, "Oh, but he's just saying that." Listen, I don't care what he's saying. I don't care. To, to be honest with you, really, yeah, it's a nice gesture, it's a nice statement, sentiment of him saying that. But to be honest with you, I don't care what he does it for. Just do it. Do you understand? <laughs> just seeing it. I don't care what for whatever for whatever reason he finds within himself to do it. I think most likely it was innate within. Him. I think it most likely that characteristic is just innate within him. I don't think he was specifically, but the fact that the fact he he's saying he's doing it for the fans is, is a nice and a very, especially in this day and age when you've got massive overpaid footballers and sports people who take the fans for granted. I think it's a lovely sentiment of him to say I'm doing it for you lot, because these other guys they think they are they think they they think we're desperate to be around them, don't they? That's what they think. They think oh, you, even though we pay them, they think that. They, we owe them something as well, do you know what I'm saying? They think, oh, well, I'm a big hard ass celebrity, and yeah. Like, like I said, Johnston. Johnston had dragged 90,000 of his fans out to watch him dance around with a middleweight, and then afterwards he said, oh, the fans need to be grateful because I put a lot of hard work in. What? What planet are you on? And this shows you the people around him. Because I told, I'll tell you this for free, if I was there, I'd have told him, listen, you best humble yourself and get out of there and apologise, because that was crap. That's what I'd have told him. That's why he don't want me in there. He want Angel Fernandez there to put his arm round him in the training camp and tickle his ass. Oh AJ, oh you got it so hard. Oh, oh AJ, you got thirty minutes and got to pay fifty million. Oh, you're so hard, and the fans need to appreciate how hard you are. Oh. Yeah, that's what he wants around him. Yeah, hundred percent. Babic showed you, showed all you lot. Bum million, you got showed up by your own teammate. Babic showed you, Dylan, how it's, how it's supposed to be done. I'm sick of this whole weird street culture as well. Oh, I'm really hard. I've got a pair of Air Maxes on. Oh, I tuck my trousers into my... I tuck my tuck my tracky bottoms into my socks and... Oh, I've got the go I've got the Louis side bag and... Oh, I've got the snapback on. Oh, okay, no. Oh, I've got the chain on. Jesus Christ. Get in there and get stuck in. How about that? I don't care what... I don't care... Listen, Dylan. I don't care what you're wearing. Yeah? I don't, care, I don't care what I don't care what Louis bag I don't care what what Louis book bag you got on your side of your, I, mean, I, don't care, I don't care about that get stuck in how about that yeah that's what you want to do but the substance in general but sports sports are good sports are good projection of society in the main but these days there, there no substance don't matter don't matter what's really in your core it's about today what it's about it's about what you can present yourself as. You can present yourself as being really hard, but when it comes to it, you're useless and you're scared of your own shadow. Yeah? Johnston. I mean, when is he, what has Johnston ever really did for anyone apart from collect coin? What's he really done? Well, go on, name it. What's he done? When it mattered. Yeah? Nothing. That's what, uh, that's what he did. Didn't do nothing. Apart from some more talking. Oh well, I've got a video coming soon, Johnson. Oh, but you know, oh, I've got the from all my other fights. I, I never had no strategy before. I'm working on a strategy now. What do you mean strategy? Strategy ain't why you got your head boxed off, yeah? Did you see? Did you see any strategy with Babic? Oops, you understand what I'm trying to say? Here? Yes, I'm not saying. Does does Babic need some strategy? He probably does, but he's got the other things. That are hard to have. Strategy is something you can work on. You can't work on finding your balls. You can't work on that. You've either got them or you went. I'd much rather work with Babic than I would Johnston. Yeah? Because Johnston don't know how to find it. How hard... I mean, I'm not being funny here. Yeah? When someone's punching you in the face, if you can't find it then, when are you going to find it? Do you understand? 
Most people get punched in the face, and that's where, if, if you're ever going to get turned on, if you're ever going to get motivated, it'd be them, wouldn't it? Johnson, in fact, Johnson got popped in the mouth and didn't want, no more, didn't want nothing more to do with it. He got pop, popped in the mouth by Ruiz and ran off for 12 rounds in the rematch, despite being the the guy who had all the advantages. Same as the uh, uh, Usyk fight. AJ had all the advantages, got popped in the mouth in the first round, didn't want to know anymore, ran off. And, and then ended up on the ropes. Yeah, Babic gets put down, was completely shot to bits in the last round as well, knackered, and still marching forward, trying to bang away. Yeah, trying to find a way through, refusing to lose, keep pushing on, and doing so for minor belt and minor coin. That's noble, especially in today's world. Yeah, in today's in today's in today's game, what Babic did at the weekend is as noble as it gets. We don't see that today in top level sport. You don't. These guys roll over and then expect. Oh, oh, the fans need to keep sucking me off. Oh, oh, the fans need to be grateful that I just turned. That's what it is today. Yeah, everyone is so in love with Instagram. That you've got these guys so gassed, they think that it's same as I'm. I'm not, I don't watch football, but I'm, I've heard that these football players they're so overpaid. They turn up and they think they can just turn up and lose five nil, and you're supposed to. They, everyone should be happy. Oh, oh, the manager this, and oh, oh, what well, the manager? All that kind of stuff is whining, being paid mega bucks, and week in week out they losing. Oh, but my mental health, and oh, I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, start winning some games. Start, sc start scoring some goals. What you want to do? Yeah. How about this, that, the other. And it's the same with the, the whole lot of them. Everywhere you look, there's got this whole other stuff going on. Everywhere you look, everyone doing what a, a spo everyone's doing everything as apart from what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, Johnston's supposed to be taking heads off. He do everything else but that. He pump weights. Yeah. He run track. He pumps some more weights. He do some more modelling. But then it comes to doing the thing he's supposed to be doing. And nowhere to be found. No balls. Same as Dillian White. We see Dillian White on the treadmill. We see Dillian White on the cycle machine. We see Dillian White doing, putting videos of him sweating. Oh, hard work. He says. Hard work. I'm in the gym. Oh, I'm with the dogs. Oh. oh. Yeah, he was giving it all that. Yeah. Gets in there, where was the howling, Dillian? Dillian, where was the howling when you, when you did nothing for six rounds? Where was it? People must know. Because guess what? You don't hear me asking where Babic's howling was. Babic was howling alright. He was howling from the first round to the last round. The whole way through. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. Is Babic... Can, can raw heart alone get you to the top of the sport? I don't think it can. You need more than just raw heart, but... Put that to one side, put the skill stuff to one side. I can work with that. Regardless of skills, regardless of how far Babbitt gets to in ultimately in the sport, do I think Babbitt's going to become undisputed? And well, Probably not. But that's not the point. We know as humans, everyone has a genetic potential. Yeah? I was never going to be no basketball player at 5 foot 9. You understand? But still, at five foot nine, I can put a good shift in. Do you know what I'm saying? We can't. We can't expect everyone can't become double undisputed champion in multiple weight divisions. That can't be done. Every, not every single person is going to have that genetic potential. But what every person can do is put all their chips in, and Babic put all of his chips in, and then afterwards gave glory or gave the power to the people who really. When it comes down to it, pay the tickets, pay the pay-per-views, and whatever else. That you, that's where you should be grateful. Yeah? That's where you must be grateful. But these guys, these celebrity types today, they're surrounded by, by... They're surrounded by... Sucker offers. Back in the 80s, celebrity... Or back in the 80s, sports people were surrounded by leeches. Who would, su who would suck the money off them. Now it's completely different. Now you've got individuals, individuals like Eddie Hearn who love giving. Do you know what I'm saying? It's the other way around now. Now the sports before, Mike Tyson got punked by a whole bunch of people, for example. Just, just, just teething him. Do you understand? 
That's how it used to be. These cats, Bob Arum, Don King, used to run tricks on these guys. And I think, I'm, the more I think about it, the more I look at Dana White, people complain, I like Dana White. I like what he's doing. He keeps all these goofies in line. He don't let the, he don't let the hens rule the chicken coop. Keeps them all in line, and guess what? They, 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 nine, nine times out of ten, the UFC cats perform. Yeah? So I'm sorry. This other model of sucking off the fighters, it don't work. It just don't. I mean, look at Dillian White. Eight million bucks. He useless. This, 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 honestly, this is a Dillian, the whole the boxing scene today is a case study of why you should why it shouldn't go this way. People like Hearn have ruined the sport. People like Hearn coming along and saying, "Oh, we work for the fighters. Oh, we love to suck fighters off." And oh, suck, 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 suck. Oh, Dillian White's so hard. Oh, he's so he's so underpaid. Oh, how's that working out? How's it working out? Dillian White was more hungry when he was, let's be real now, when Dillian White was in there with AJ the first time, at least he put on a bit, a bit of a show, he tried his best, you can't say that tonight. All of a sudden everyone's turned into a, a tactician now. What happens to when your game plan don't work, you say, you know what, let's just dig in then. Game plan's not working, it's time to dig in. What happened to that? Uh, nowhere to be found. That's what happened to that. Like I said before, Nigel Benn, versus McLennan gets knocked out the ring and McLennan at the time was probably top three pound for pound hardest puncher many people say he's probably the hardest puncher in I'm not sure was it middleweight but either way whatever whatever weight division it was at the time McLennan in that weight division was of all time probably pound for pound number one or two in that division of all time McLennan in there at the height of his uh, uh, well, Nigel Ben was in there with McLennan at the height of his game, gets punched out the ring. Guess what? It's time to rock on, baby. Yeah? It's time to get stuck in. That's what that's time for. Same as Babic. Yeah? Babic get put down. It's time to rock on. My fans are here. Everyone on it. It's time to rock on. Where's that? Dillian, where was the rocking on? Where was the howling? Yeah? Rather than putting out all these messages, oh... And my name's Dillian and I'm on Instagram and I feel better with dogs because oh, I'm really hard. I'm like a wolf and I'm ah oh, I don't like I don't really like humans. I like dogs because I'm like a wolf and that's what he was. What? Oh, I don't feel at home with with humans, but I like dogs because I'm more like a dog and oh yeah, I'm I'm really hard and I'm into dog fighting and yeah, I'm really rock hard. I am proper hard. Where was that then? Where was it all? Dillian, where was dog? Where was the dog fighting? Where was the howling? Where was the wolf pack? Where was all that? Well, you must know, because you was on Instagram posting about it for months. I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this Instagram counterculture where you can just put things out there. Oh, entrepreneur. Oh, I've got a suit on. I've got a suit on and I'm posting about, I'm posting motivational quotes. Oh. Yeah? Sick of a lot of it. Start doing the things you're talking about. Just shut up. Simple as that. Yeah? Don't be, don't be doing no howling. Don't be, don't listen, Dillian. Don't be posting no dogs. Don't be, don't be inferring no dog fighting. Don't be doing no howling. If you're gonna get in there and do nothing and jump on the floor, that's what happened. I'm sorry. You end of the day, you ended up jumping on the floor after one shot. That's what you. That's you. In, in a nutshell, Dillian White is one shot and he's out. That's it. Did nothing. Didn't, didn't win a second. Uh, that's the God's honest truth is. Dillian White didn't win a second of any round. That's just what it is. He didn't land one shot. And I told you that. The worst thing is I actually told people. I bet people Dillian White wouldn't will, land a left hook the whole night. Oops. Oh, Dillian White's got a hair trick a left hook. And he's up a guy Johnston as well. I'll never mop it. Another massive, pumped up, weightlifting, overpaid, useless guy. And, and to be fair, I can't even blame them, man. I can't even blame them for the expectation. For the lack of respect to the fans. Like I said, Dillian White don't turn up and do no press. He don't stay after the fight and say sorry to, to his fans who he gassed up. I know people who put money on Dillian because he's supposed to be really hard and whatever else and he's supposed to be coming and he's been in our he couldn't come to the I had people saying why be I'm a Dillian White fan and I'm glad Dillian didn't come to the press conference because that means he's training oops where, where, where was he where was all the Portugal then 
So right there, he missed he missed the press conferences. And when he did turn up, it was moist anyway. For what? Yeah? What was you missing press conferences for? Because it weren't. I mean, God forbid you think you was trade. What was you doing? Because we, we didn't see... Whatever you think you was doing, we didn't see none of it in the actual ring. All we saw was Devon us. Devon us for six months, and then he on the floor. In the first punch that lands. That's the truth. The God's honest truth is, the first decent shot Tyson Fury landed, took Dillian Waters on the floor, and out. Spark out. Yeah? That's the truth. One shot. For six months of us. And it begs the question. If you man focus less on begging for stuff you ain't entitled to. Like 40%. I had people telling me. Why B you're out of order. Why B stop counting people's coin. Why B he worth 50%. Because he's got this interim belt. Was he? Is that what you saw then? Did you see that? Did you see a 50-50 performance? But he deserves 50% because he got an interim belt. From where? Where did he get that? Who did he beat for that? And like I said, I can't even blame these men. I can't even blame Johnston. Um, a million. Because you man fans, you love it. No doubt. Well, who knows? But listen, no, no doubt all you man are going to pay for the next Dillian White pay-per-view as well. And pay for the next Johnston pay-per-view. No doubt that's what you're going to do. So you can't even blame them. You man love it. Oh, I love paying to watch Johnston have a sparring session. Oh, I love paying to see the Dillian White do nothing of the things he's talking about doing. Dillian, why were you talking about going to war? Where was where was that war part there? I don't get it. Like I said, it's too much of this Instagram culture these days. Where you can put a video out sweating. Oh, no, my name's Dillian. I've got a video out and I've just been to the gym. I'm sweating and I'm going to put a war t hashtag. Oh, war's coming. Yeah? Oh, in oh Game of Thrones, winter's coming, my name's Dilly and I'm really hard and war's coming to Tyson Fury. Where was that then? I don't get it. Cause you sp every every week, every day you putting videos out talking about how war was coming. So which you man tell me, maybe I'll miss maybe I've misinterpreted some of the fight. At what round was Dillian putting the war in then? Which one? Because it's not like fair enough, yeah? If Dillian got caught cold in the first round, he had six rounds. He had six rounds. When did you see Dillian White put it all on the line? Yeah? We saw Babic put on the line. Babic had a worse start than Dillian. Babic got put down for the first time in his career. He carried on wading forward. Yeah? Same as Johnston. Johnston. Went life and death with Pulev. Put Pulev down and shit his pants for another six rounds. Johnston, in there with Usyk, cruiserweight. Where, where did you see Johnston put it all on the line? I saw him put his ass on the ropes in the 12th. How embarrassing. How, em how embarrassing. I'm just confused. How can you go into a sporting competition, yeah, and not leave it all out there? And this sums up sport today. There's no there's no shame anymore, is there? And it's there's there's built in narratives now where you can hide out. You can say, Oh well, I wanna prove I can box and oh well yeah, well no, it wasn't the fact I've got no balls, it wasn't the fact I've got no heart, it's the fact that I wanna prove I can box. That's where they hide out now, by the way. Yeah? Boxers hide out hide behind, oh I wanted to prove I can box. Oh well no, it's not because I ain't got no balls. It's not because I've got no noddle at all. It's not because I've got no grit at all. It's because oh, I want to be like a box. AJ, you said that for the last four fights. And it shows you that I said that, listen, truth is, why be, people say, why be, why do you keep moaning? What's the solution? The solution is, AJ, people like AJ and Dillian White should come out and say, listen, for whatever reasons, I haven't got what I need to have in this game. I haven't got what Babic's got, and therefore, I'm going to do everyone a favour and retire. That's what should happen. Instead, they say, you know what, listen, these fans, which is it, and like I said, they ain't lying. What, what, what AJ and Dillian might say, it, they're not lying. But rather than be honest and having, people, a man with integrity would say, you know what, I haven't got the heart for this anymore. Or, I never had the heart for it. 
or whatever. I mean, look at people like Barmelo, AJ, whoever else. That's what they should be saying right now. They should be saying, listen, I haven't got the heart for it. I haven't got that oomph. I can't fully commit. I've got too much coin. I'm too successful now. I can't go to the well like I might have done in the past. That's what a man with integrity would do. These cats, they say, listen, there's so many man fans begging to give me coin. I'm going to hang around and squeeze every little drop of coin out. And whilst doing so, I'm going to do the, give the bare minimum back. And that's why you've seen AJ in his recent fights. He goes out there, yeah. And if you're old and tired like Pulev was, and he can and he can get you to jump on the floor without taking no risk, that's what he'll do. But if it comes to digging in, as the Usyk fight would have required, he ain't interested. He's happy to lose on points, take his 30 million bucks, and 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 wait and carry on. So like I said, it's two, there are two groups of people with, it, with responsibility here. Yes, AJ and Dillian should have responsibility. And I believe one day, if there is a God, they will have to answer for that. Yeah, Why did you scam the public knowing that you was, had no intention of really doing anything? Which is the facts. They know that. Got no intention of it. But equally, you man, all you man fans who buy the pay-per-views... I'm telling you now, no one should ever buy a Johnston pay-per-view again. Never. What for? Yeah? The market system's supposed to work. They deliver what you want to see, and you pay for it. He ain't delivering what you want to see. You ain't supposed to pay for it. Like I said, no one should ever buy an AJ ticket again, and no one should ever buy an AJ pay-per-view. Same as Dillian White. Never again. Conversely, everyone should buy... A Tyson Fury pay-per-view, like I said, I ain't bought pay-per-views in years. I bought Tyson Fury's last one against Dillian White on principle. If he's going to show me knockouts, I'm down for that. I can work with that. Yeah? If he's going to peel himself off the canvas, I can work with that. And Tyson Fury showed that. He can peel himself off the canvas when he needs to, and he can get stuck in. Fine. That can be paid for. But Johnston, never. Not in a million years. Same as Bommelie and Shite. Not in a million years. Babic, That can work. Yeah? That's how it's supposed to work. But you man... I'm sure... I don't know what it is. You man have a fascination with... Oh, but... Why be... I need to see some big... Big bodybuilder on... Oh, but why be... What about... I'm going to miss the bodybuilder. I want to see the big juiced up bodybuilder. Yeah? That's what it is. I don't know what... Cause it's not because of his performances, is it? Let's be real now. Remember the last time we really watched the AJ fight... To see an amazing performance? When? Go on. When have we seen AJ go in there and leave it all out there? When? When have you seen AJ dig in? When have we seen Bumello dig in? Oops. Do you understand? They're all the same at that level. They're all selfish and conceited. And if they think the world revolves around them. And they think everyone should be... AJ thinks people should be grateful to watch him spar. That's what he said after the in the post fight interview of AJ versus Usyk. He said, "Oh, the fans should be grateful because I put I put hard work in." Not, I'm sorry that eighty thousand fans had to come out and watch that crap. That's what he should have said. That's what I'd have told him to say. That's in fact, if I was there, I'd have come. If I was training AJ, yeah, I'd have come out and said, "Listen, I don't know what he's on, but that was crap. That was that was one out of ten. I'm embarrassed that I'm training the guy who performed like that. Truth be known. But these trainers, they, they seem... Everyone is the thing. That's why I, that's why I kind of half fell out with Shane McGuigan. Because Shane McGuigan has a lot to say about everyone else's fighters. But guess what? When Akoli sucked in his last fight... Yeah? McGuigan was like, oh, you know, he's only had ten fights. And oh, what? No, let's be consistent here, Shane. Lawrence Hug Coley sucked. Just kept clinching the whole night. Useless. That's just the truth. I ain't lying to you. I said I said Lawrence Akoli has improved massively against Glowacki. But that performance, that last one was a whopper. He was in there with a worst opponent and still shit his pants. Didn't want to engage whatsoever. I'm sorry people I'm sorry yeah, but jabbing a jab in the right hand and a clinch is not boxing. It's not. Look at Babic. Babic didn't clinch once, even when he was out on his feet. 
I respect that. The clinch, I'm sorry, but the clinch for me isn't part of boxing. It should be really yeah, the clinch should be banned. That's what I think should I don't I don't know why I don't know where the clinch got invented at. I don't know all that does is give the taller man the advantage to to ruin the fight. I don't get the I mean Lennox Lewis used overused it. Klitschko overused it. Tyson Fury to some extent overuses it as well. I think it's I don't see the I don't see the relevance of a clinch in boxing. Boxing's about throwing your hands. I think the rule should be listen, you throw your hands, if you get rocked, you best tuck up and lock in. Otherwise, or go, 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 or drop, or, like I said, you got two choices. The clinch should be banned. So if you get rocked, you better tighten it up, tighten that defense up, or go to the floor. There shouldn't be an option to cling on and keep clinging on. Go to the floor, go spark out, or tuck up. That, that, those should be your options. That re that's what that's what skill's about, isn't it? Skill would be about okay. I'm rocked. Let me. Maintain my defense, maintain being evasive, and or get knocked out, and or go to the ground. Those should be your options. Your options shouldn't be, okay, I'm going to spoil the fight and cling onto his arm and hang on. and No, that's dead. And it ruins a sport. People like Klitschko and Lawrence Hug Coley have perfected this way of ruining it. Oh, okay, I'm really lanky, so I'm just going to jab you and then hug you all night. What's that about? I don't, I don't get that. They should, and listen, if people, if talk, if lanky people don't like me saying that, there should be another sport invented for them. There should be a sport called clinching. Yeah? And you should, Lawrence, Lawrence Hugagoli should take up the sport of clinching. Go in there and just clinch onto the guy. Well, like I said, wrestling. Why don't you take up wrestling? If you want to hug onto someone, I got, listen, I've got no problem. If you love hugging onto some next man, go and take up some homoerotic thing. Yeah? Boxing's supposed to be about throwing hands, or hitting and not being hit. It's not supposed to be about oh well, I can hug onto you because I'm really lanky. Anyway, listen, Babic, salute to the man. Massive respect for me. His words sent shivers down my spine because we don't hear that too often. We don't hear someone giving the power to the people. And I'm not trying to get cheesy about it or whatever, but I do respect that. I do respect him saying that. And it's a I mean, when was the last time you saw a big athlete say, any that, say, any, say anything like this? And better yet, when was the last time you saw an athlete put on an inspiring performance like that, ready to put all of his chips in? We hear a lot of people say it. We hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm prepared to die for the win. How many really do it, though? Babic's one of them. Facts. And Babic really... In recent times, Babic was one, Castaño was another one. Maybe there's some more knocking about, but in the main, there's probably a handful of ones who are prepared to go all in. Tyson Fury, I'll give him it. He's proven he, he's prepared to go all out. Never say never, never say die. Apart from them, man. Or well, Deontay Wilder, I'll give him credit, he's another one. But the rest of them, like Dillian White and AJ, all these talkers, oh, I'm really hard and I'm prepared to, you ain't prepared to do shit. You're prepared to turn up and get paid big money for a sparring session. 